here's my setup, just as messy as I left it. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's, there's my Cowboy Studio lights. I need to get some better ones because I can't really like position these like, I don't know, whatever. They do, they do a pretty good job, but I'm definitely going to invest in some really good lights someday. These are like a hundred bucks. They're pretty cheap. Um, there's an app called DSLR controller that I can control my entire camera. Um, this has a flip out screen. But it's really like when you're sitting down doing a video like this and you're trying to pay attention to what's on the screen and you need, yeah, it's easier to, I usually use this and uh, the EOS utility and then it shows me what's, you know, on my camera and I can also like, I can have my laptop right here and my camera facing at me over there and then I can, you know, press an, a button, jump over there real quick and it auto focuses on me, so yeah, I'm going to get a uh, powered USB um, thing right here because this doesn't work. I think I need, a, I'm pretty sure I have to have a powered one. I would do a demonstration, but the battery in this died completely. And <laughs> even this uh, uh, Elf 300 HS is flashing red, so all my batteries are dead. Even this was dead, but I had to charge it. <laughs> um... I got this a long time ago because probably in 2010 because I had a Xbox 360 that didn't have built-in wireless and it was like spend 99 bucks on a wireless USB thing or spend 99 bucks on this and it's um, wireless in 2.4 and 5 gigahertz uh, with Ethernet so right now it's picking up my E4200 Lynch's router on the 5 gigahertz network so this is the fastest wireless device. Well, no, the Galaxy Tab also has 5 gigahertz. Oh, so does the uh, uh, touchpad. This doesn't have 5 gigahertz. This has wireless in, but it's still in the 2.4 gigahertz network, which is the same thing as the, uh, the Xbox 360 and a lot of other things. So I really wish this was 5 gigahertz, but this is. So... This only has wireless G, um, this is a 2010 Lenovo G550, and it also has um, 10100 Ethernet. So it's actually faster to use this hooked up to that little USB pluggable um, gigabit thing. Because while it's 2 point, USB 2.0 and it only goes to 480 megabits per second, that's still faster than using the Ethernet port, which only goes to 100 megabits per second. And... Uh, yeah, so like not like internet wise, you're not going to experience that much faster stuff. But when you're using FTP um, and you're uh, s locally sending files to computers and stuff, that's going to really help out a lot. Um, but yeah, so this is just a quick kind of behind the scenes thing. Um, I got a uh, USB. Hold on, let me go get it. Can't come out, puppy. Oh. I got this USB OTG thing and I can't get it to work. This is my second one. I had another one, but it was through a different uh, company. Okay. Huh. You got a message asking me if you wanted to review Instagram on video. Okay. All right, so we're gonna see if it's the culprit of the flash drive or not. I know this is going on long, I'm sorry. Ah. All right. I 
So, we're going to open up something like Netflix. No, we'll put the market. Abby, I'm recording. Please stop. Okay, you can wait till I'm done. See, usually if I was going to edit this video, I would cut that out. But I can't. I'm not going to edit this. Oh, what? I had a different one. This is a brand new one. Why? Why not? I don't know what this app means. USB host diagnostics by Chainfire. I'm um, start diagnostics. Disconnect the cable.